Now then, this is just a quick video on how to install themes and games on your Raspberry Pi. No messing about, let's roll the title. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to visit a website called Arcade Punks. So if we, let's just type that in now. Let's go to Arcade Punks. So when that loads up, you need to go down to where it says Front End Downloads. Click over to where it says PI4 Images. Download the PI4 Images. And then for the sake of this video, I've just started to download one and this is let's just let's get the date up to 21st of the second 2021 a lot of people turn around and say that after a while um the torrents go um, if there's no seeds the torrents just basically die but what i've found is if you just stick with it pick a torrent that you want for instance and we click on torrent it will then ask where you want to put it so i'm just going to put it on my desktop I'm going to save it to my desktop and then what you want to do is I use uTorrent um, so you want to if you haven't got a, a client you want to go down and download um, a client you just once again you go to here with here you download uTorrent download for instance and then you would get this here you just click on that you would install that and then you would pick a location so then obviously you'd install it into your system then you double click on that that would open up uTorrent which I've got open up here and as you can see that's downloading now as you, this has got I when I first started downloading this for the purpose of the video it took it I was getting it was saying three weeks four weeks for it to download but I left it for about a good 20 minutes half an hour I've just come back now to start recording and as you can see that is now down to two hours and 48 minutes and that is downloading I'm getting 15.3 megabytes and I'm uploading at 16.3 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to download and um, we're going to stop it here and then we'll come back once that's downloaded and we'll go to the next process so now we're finished downloading the file as you can see and um, looking at here it was started on the 23rd of the second and we started at 10 in the morning and it is finished at six minutes past four this afternoon so it has taken quite a while to download that file okay so next what we're going to do is i've got myself a samsung and it is a 256 memory card and that does 120 megabytes per second i've got a bit of green screen on there so that's the micro sd card and i haven't got even though i've got the s the big sd adapter i'm using a gaming pc which hasn't got one of the adapters on so what i have got is a micro sd which is a usb port so what you basically do is you slot the micro sd card into here put it into a display uh, usb port on your pc and we'll be able to transfer from that and then once we sort that we're going to go to online here and we are going to download a program called Etcher. Once that's downloaded, we're going to install it onto the PC itself. So I'm going to agree to that. Right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to insert this into the PC and we'll start the program of getting the file copied over. And then we're going to flash it from file. There is our um, image that we downloaded from RK Punch ready to go. Yours might not show up. You'll have to just go rooting around to it. You can go and find it. So if you just click on it, that is the one that we want to do. We're going to select the target. And if you remember, that is in H. I've got other hard drives plugged in. As you can see, I've got a two terabyte and a five terabyte. Make sure you do not select them. So select the new volume, which is the SD card that I've just put in. So we're going to select that. And then you are going to flash it. And then that should then start um, writing the image onto the SD card, as you can see, because it's flashing. So that's saying that will come right down once it starts getting it into the ETA. That will come back down. And then, um, yep, that should be done shortly. Okay, so that is now about to finish. It's flashed the memory card. It's now validating the memory card. And it has taken roughly about two hours flashing and another two hours validating so any second now that should hit 100 percent and there we go as you can see that is just finished now so we'll be able to just take that out pop it in the arcade one up machine 
boot it all up and we are ready to go and here we have it we've just plugged this straight into the arcade one up now and this is the brand new theme that we've been working on so as you can see i'm going to configure the buttons so you guys can have a good idea because a lot of people get stuck at this point so we're going to do up on the joystick try and get this up so we're going to do up down left right now my start button is going to be the player one button here so i'm going to press that now the select button will be my coin button which is down here you can see that now we're going to go up here and then we're going to do our button configuration so a is going to be the first one and we're just going to go around the buttons a b x y left shoulder right shoulder now i've completely ran out of buttons on this left hand side so what we're going to do is now we're just going to keep our finger on the button and if you see that says not defined so we're going to go carry on going down so i'm going to stand back here now and you'll see i'm just going to keep pressing that same button and we're going to hold it and we're not going to define the button and we're going to go right down the whole list just continuing to do this if you want to use the select button as a default so we're going to hit yes So there we have it so now we've got all it's all set up and ready to go and that is how you set up a theme on your arcade one-up cabinet that is everything set up from start to finish hope you enjoyed the video if you did if you don't mind subscribing to the channel giving us a like supporting the channel i really appreciate it thank you and i'll see you in the next one